In my opinion, the best way to understand axes and planes is when we attach an image to these words. Okay? If you are able to see, to visualize the planes and axes, it will be much e easier to visualize the types of movements. So let's start with the three axes. First, we have the sagittal, is this axis right here. Sagitta in Latin stands for arrow. So it's easy to imagine an arrow going through this model from the front to the back. Now we have the transverse axis. That is this one that goes left and right. And for me, it kind of looks like this mini soccer game, which figures move in a particular, in a particular way. And then we have the longitudinal axis, which goes from the bottom to the top. And it looks like you're kind of hanging from your head. And those are the three axes. Now let's move on to the three planes. We have the frontal, which is this one, and kind of looks like a door frame. So imagine me going through that door frame. That's the frontal plane. And it divides the body front and back. Then we have the sagittal plane, which is like the sagittal axis, but now we have a whole plane. So if for whatever reason, instead of going through the door frame, I was hitting that door with my head, that will be the sagittal axis. And it split the body left and right. And last, we have the transverse plane, which is this one, also called horizontal. And I like to visualize it as you're entering the sea and the sea level is raising along your body. That's the horizontal plane. And it divides the body up and down. So those are the three axes, the three planes, and how they look like. Now let's see how they interact. 